So hello and welcome back to the video series of finite element analysis. I am Bhavik Soneji and today I am going to talk about global stiffness matrix. So let's get started. So in the previous video uh, we have derived the stiffness matrix element stiffness matrix for a single element. So now let's see what is global stiffness matrix. Now uh, in the previous video I have explained about a single element spring element we are taking the example of spring element. So now it's a, a numerical base uh, part. Uh, I am closing down my window. So now uh, let's understand this. So first of all, let me give you example. Suppose this is my spring element. Which is having two different nodes node number 1 and node number 2. So this is the condition before elongation. And after elongation it will deflected like this. node number 1 and node number 2. After elongation, here is my node number 1 and node number 2 will be deflected like this. So, uh, it will elongate, first node will elongate by small u1, then the original length capital L, then there will be deflection of second node that is u2. So this figure indicates the after elongation. Here the force applied is capital T that is tensile force and it produces the elongation which is denoted by delta elongation. Now U1 has a a negative sign here because it is opposite to the x direction. Considering this as x direction, uh, the sign of x uh, uh, here will be taken, this direction will be taken as positive and this direction will be taken as negative. So here u1 has a negative Uh, sign and u2 has a positive sign. So uh, according to the force and deformation relation we have one equation like this force is equal to k into elongation delta where the elongation will be equal to elongation at length l initial uh, final minus initial condition. So it would be u2 minus u1. So now you get why the uh, sign is negative here. So total 
or tensile force is equal to k minus u2 minus u1 now if we consider the nodal uh, element so at this node force will be f small f 1 x that is equal to negative tensile t and f 2 x at node 2 will be positive t so uh, by putting the equation putting the value of k t in the local uh, nodal condition so at node number one we are putting the value of uh, t here that is minus t so f1 x will be minus k u2 minus u1 so ultimately it will become f1 x k u1 minus u2 same for node number two we can apply the same condition uh, here it is f2x equal to capital t so f2x equal to k u2 minus u1 so now we have got uh, the value of f1x and f2x so these two are our final equation so putting this value uh, in terms of uh, uh, matrix form so in matrix form we can write it like this vector of f1x and f2x equal to k minus k minus k and k into displacement u1 and u2 so this becomes our this stiffness matrix is the elemental stiffness matrix which is representing the 1D element, 1D spring element. So this is at uh, elemental level. Now we want to see how it is for global level. So in global, instead of only one element, uh, we can take whole system so let's understand it by one example which is a combination of more than one element so again we are taking one simple example to understand it better So here instead of one element, this system is having two elements. First element is having property k1, second element is having property k2 and there are three nodes here again. Instead of two nodes here, there are three nodes. So node number one, node number two and node number 3 and it is under some tensile load so it will get elongated so now we want to find out the solution so let's convert this into free body diagram first so first of all we will draw this thing in simplified manner so first is first element
then second element so first element is indicated by k1 this is k2 so here you can uh, see this first uh, element is in between node number 1 and 3 so here is my node number 1 here is my node number 3 and uh, second element is in between node number 3 and node number 2 so this is my node number 1 node number 3 and node number 2 now how forces are applied so now consider uh, how the loading conditions are there starting from this node the tensile force is applied over here which is indicated by global uh, node uh, global force that is f2 now same here the node number one is fixed so opposite at opposite direction there will be a force that is capital x1 so capital f will indicate the global terms so here for global terms i am using the red pen global forces are denoted by capital F here the direction is X so considering X so on the node number 3 again it will be represented by capital F 3x Fx3 now uh, opposite in opposite direction there will be some force which is a local nodal forces so local for uh, nodal forces i am denoting it by blue those are by small f fx1 fx2 and fx3 so here at the node number 1 in opposite direction equal and opposite here at node number 3 both are in this direction at node number 3 and at node number 2 so this are fx1 these are small fx3 fx3 and these are fx2 so now converting uh, these values according to the newton's third law the forces are opposite and equal so let's write it down in mathematical formula so at node number 3 in x direction it's a combination of uh, local nodes due to first element and due to second element so here it can be written as small f3x due to 1 and small f3x due to 2 
सेम फॉर सेकेंड फोर्स एलिमेंट इट इज ओनली अप्लाई टू दी सेकेंड एलिमेंट सो इट इज रिटर्न एज फॉर दी सेकेंड एलिमेंट सेम फॉर वन इट इज रिटर्न फॉर दी फर्स्ट एलिमेंट नाउ कन्वर्टिंग दिस इन टू यू वन एंड के फॉर्म सो एफ इज इक्वल टू के इन टू एक्स एज यू नो सो एफ थ्री एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस के वन यू वन प्लस के वन यू थ्री प्लस माइनस के टू यू थ्री माइनस के टू यू टू फॉर सेकेंड एलिमेंट यू कैन राइट इन दिस मैनर यू कैन चेक द साइन फ्रॉम दिस फिगर अकॉर्डिंग टू द डायरेक्शन आई हैव टेकन दिस साइंस एंड फॉर एफ वन एक्स इट कैन बी रिटर्न एस के वन यू वन माइनस के थ्री यू थ्री सो वी हैव कन्वर्टेड इन टू मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मूला एंड बाय अप्लाइंग द मटीरियल प्रॉपर्टी सो इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म वी कैन राइट the assembly of this vector so f3x f2x so instead of 2 by 2 matrix here it will be 3 cross 3 matrix so i am writing this equations in terms of matrix form into u3 u2 and u1 so now rearranging this uh, steps rearranging the matrix into the desired form so first we will write first element then second element and then third element into here also it is rearranged u1 u2 and u3 so this is our final global stiffness matrix in terms of f capital f capital k and capital u so we have converted the we have assembled the uh, elements into one matrix and this matrix is known as global stiffness matrix so this is how the assembly is done so in the next upcoming videos Uh, we will start the 1d problem of finite element analysis hope you like it keep watching